No lie. He said, listen, Andy, I haven't earned a bed. I want to sleep on the, on the floor in the van. It's crazy how you know what you need. Here's the goal. You see this guy right here, right? You guys seen this guy? This guy right here, he's got a son, he's married, he works at Waxahachie Nissan. I don't even know where that is, okay? Right? I mean, it's in a small town, and guess what? He comes out of the gate, right? And guess what? He's discouraged, I can see it on him. We work himself up to making himself 100 grand. You know what he does? He thinks that he's hit it. 100 grand's a lot of money for you and your family, am I right? Yeah, you know what? I said, no, bro, that's stupid. All right, 100 grand ain't nothing. You're worth way more than 100, that's a sin. And by the way, listen, I'm gonna tell you this. I told them everybody's opted out of winning, which means they've opted into losing, and all you have to do is train hard and stay committed and stay with me. When I say stay with me, let me explain what I mean. Don't unplug, okay? Training isn't something you did, it's something you do every day until you die. If you were at the last seminar, I did a breakdown of a board of all the money that I spent on training to get up to making 700 grand. I spent $3,000 a month for 18 months straight studying the same man who did the same training every time and I changed mine but he didn't it was the same one I wasn't better than him so I showed back up I showed up and I wanted to know how he talked that way how he used his body language that way why did he believe that much I wanted to understand him like the back of my hand and guess what 18 months later I was better than that man and guess what happened my income was through the roof it's called an investment and the best investment you'll ever make in your life is you you go buy a $500 bell right now, it makes you no money. You invest in yourself, you're forever wealthy. You remember that. Never forget it. Nobody can take that away from you. You spend 30 grand on yourself, who cares? It was on you if it was for training investing. Does that make sense? You go buy $30,000 on a car, who cares? It's just a car. It's a piece of metal. Do you feel me? A guy that can turn a dollar or a man or a woman that can turn a dollar is forever wealthy. Forever. Continue to self-invest in yourself till you die. But this guy right here, right? I remember when he bought his first two 99 course from me, started training. We got him to make it 100. And guess what I said? Remember what I said to you? I said, you're going to make a quarter of a million dollars in 2022. You remember that? Now, we, in 2021, I'm sorry. I, 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 guys, I think it's 2040 right now. I mean it. I mean, I really do. I mean, I, I, I've grown so fast. I, see, the guy that was last month is dead. The guy last year is dead. That guy doesn't even exist. And that's what I want from you guys. Every time I see you, I want to see you recreate every single time. But he's here tonight. And look, and I, I want to show you something. Like, can you get up here? This guy comes to our private masterminds every six months that we hold, that we only have 30 people that come to. It's private, so it's one-on-one. -on -one, so we all talk about um, things that aren't during a seminar that because we're running so fast. And do you see what he's wearing? Do you see this? Now listen, I didn't tell him to bring this. I didn't tell him to bring this. He brings it. He brings it on his own. He's in his own space. He's in his own zone and he has his own beliefs. I remembered when he didn't have his own beliefs and he was discouraged. He is very clear on who he is now. Very clear, am I right? He's delusional about who he can become and no one in his company believed that he could become this person. And I told them he could and I've stayed with them the whole way. I told them it was gonna happen, but I told them along the way that everybody was gonna try to talk him out of it. And guess what? As he sits here with all these lanyards around his neck and he's been here hustling and grinding, he spent a lot of his hard earned money to get here and he stayed here. Every time I said, hey, if you're coming back, raise your hand now. Guess what? His hand goes up, he's back. This year he's gonna make over 250 grand. Let's go, guys! We've got success stories all over the world that I don't talk about all the time. And there's some, there's some that like, I could tell you about that wouldn't be big to you. Cause we, cause you know how we rate like stuff by money? I don't rate stuff by money. I rate stuff by lifestyle because it's your life, right? You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter how much money you have. I see a lot of people that got money that hate their life. A, a guy that runs with them all the time is a guy named Sam Welly. Where's Sam Welly at? Sam Welly is, we don't know really if he's 21 or 20, okay? Because we're not sure, right? He's got two driver's licenses, but we know he's about 20 years old and he started training with me two years ago. First of all, he never made more than his draw. His managers disrespected him every day. Am I right? They told him that he was never going to make it. He was the worst salesman they'd ever seen. And he's stupid for watching this guy's training. That was their word. 
Am I right? Right. And they told him they caught him watching it again, they're gonna fire him. And by the way, they're probably gonna fire him anyways because they told him he was the worst salesman they'd ever seen. Now, Sam Welly is not a born salesperson. He doesn't have the gift of gab. He doesn't. Sam Welly was like the farthest thing from what you would think a salesperson would be, which is what we do in this game is we recreate, and guess what happened? We started him on a little David Goggins, right? We got him where he started working out. We got him where he started doing the training and coming to seminars. Listen, he was making his draw, spending $9.97 to drive down and do training with us. Well, the kid makes 15 grand, goes to a new dealership, works with Tyler. Tyler's taking him under his wing. The guy's life is totally recreated. When I see him walk in here today, I still remember, honey, you remember the first time we saw him walk in? <laughs> I mean, listen to me, listen to me. He would come down in a, in a hundred dollar van and he would sleep on the floor in the van outside. And we would ask him to come in. We'd say, man, come in, like come into our house, right? And he wouldn't come. He wanted to say No lie. He said, listen, Andy, I haven't earned a bed. I want to sleep on the, on the floor in the van. It's crazy how you know what you need, but you won't listen to yourself. You do what's convenient. He bought him a hotel room. Guess what? He slept on the floor. Sometimes you have to push yourself and do some crazy stuff. And you guys are like, I don't understand where we're going here. <laughs> Let me explain. He knows who he is. He knows himself. He knows that in order for him to go to another level in life, he is gonna have to make himself very uncomfortable. He's not a born salesperson. He is making himself into being one of the best salespeople in the world. It will happen. It's gonna happen. He'll make a hundred grand this year, but here's the coolest thing, okay? When everybody wrote him off, he's 21, 20 years old. He's got his whole life ahead of him. We still don't know, but the deal is he's got his whole life ahead of him. I want you to think about this. What do you have? What's your special skill? Do you ever look in the mirror and you're like, dude, my potential is insane. Like I'm dangerous, but I don't do anything with it. I literally just burn time and go through the motions. Enough. I want you to draw a line in the sand tonight. And I want you to decide to go get the life and give yourself permission to have the life you want.